Okay, so why do we use voice with insights? It's because everybody's voice is unique and voice is topic specific. So when you speak of a particular topic, your voice energy reflects all of your experience, your beliefs, your attitudes, your entire perception of that topic is reflected in your voice. So voice is an incredibly powerful tool. The other thing is it takes almost your entire anatomy to make voice. You have to think about what you're gonna say, then you engage your thorax and your abdomen and you use your hands and you exhale and you articulate through your vocal mechanism. So lots of stuff is loaded onto voice. The words are almost the least significant part. What we've done with Insights is we have created a database in the cloud and we've put into that database a number of wellness related virtual items. And we use the Spark Scan then to ignite an algorithm that will score all of those virtual items and give you an idea of which ones at that moment in time are most appropriate. In order for the Spark Scan to work, we have to have real-time biometric input. And we use voice as the first biometric input, and then we use a tactile response. And so we take the voice and we, we don't record the words, we don't save that, what we're interested in is the energy that comes out of the voice. And so the computer will do an analysis of the energy, create what's called a voice map or a vocal map, and that vocal map then becomes a target. And that target will appear on your screen five times in different locations, and you either touch or you click on that target every time it appears. This is a, a form of evoke potential. We call it a tactile response. And what we're looking for is the time between when the target appears and when you touch it. That is biometric input that, that actually is unique as well. So we then combine the, the vocal input and we combine that with the tactile input and we bundle it all together and create what we call the spark. The spark is then the unique catalyst that ignites the algorithm and once the algorithm is ignited, it processes the, processes the data at computer speed. So the, so the Spark scan happens a lot faster than any other scan we've ever done here at Zyto. The score comes out as a percentage, and we call that an outcome ratio. So the outcome ratio is an indication of which item is most appropriate. It goes from 0% to 100%. 100% obviously is more appropriate than 0%. One of the reasons that we used voice as a biometric input is because we're experts at voice analysis. We have a product called Evox, and we've had that in the market for, gosh, 12, 13 years probably. Over that period of time, we've got a lot of experience in voice analysis and the energy and the information that's carried in voice. So it was a natural for us to pick voice and use it with the Spark. When you create a Spark scan, you want to use a quiet environment. Now, that doesn't mean you've got to go into a closet and shut the door and you know, put up the sound curtains. It just means you should be in an, in an area where your voice, if you're talking into your phone, where your voice is the dominant energy hitting the microphone. We don't have a, um, an ambient filter built into the, the app. So you have to compensate for that by being the dominant energy. So you want to do that. So you uh, make the recording. And you have the feature where you can actually listen back to the recording. Now, you'll hear the words come back. We don't say those words past that recording that you can replay if you want to. But, you know, if I'm talking into my phone and I only have to talk for about 10, minutes, 10 seconds, let's say that my dog barks or somebody slams the door, or my kids come in and they're screaming. All I have to do is just hit re-record and I can re-record. The second thing you want to do is to not read. The third thing you want to do is uh, don't sing. Because if you're reading, you're not getting a heartfelt voice. If you're singing, you're not getting a heartfelt voice. It's, you know, it's, you've got some interpretation that goes on there, but it's not the same. The next thing to remember is that voice is topic specific. So if I want a spark scan that, uh, that will give me recommendations relating to a particular issue. Let's say I have back pain. Well, what you should do then is talk about your back pain. So for 10 seconds, you'd say, you know, my back hurts, uh, the pain, you describe the pain, how does it feel in the morning? You know, just stay on topic. Uh, so you can change the topic for any spark 
and you'll get the spark scan bias towards what it is you've talked about. The other thing is if you're just looking for a general tonic. So I'm just looking for some general supplements to take. Well, then I would talk about myself. I would say, my name is Vaughn Cook. I've got blue eyes. I'm this tall. I'm this old, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't talk about myself in terms of my geography or in terms of my relationship. So I wouldn't say, I've got five kids and I live in Utah and, you know, you want to stay focused on you or you want to stay focused on whatever the topic is. The fact that we can now do a scan with no hardware is huge. The fact that we can do a scan based on technology that billions of people around the world have at their access, a cell phone or a computer, uh, allows us to reach an audience that we could never reach if we had any hardware uh, that went along with this. So this is exciting. You know, Insights is really the culmination of almost 40 years of experience in energy medicine. And during that, during that career, uh, I've developed a lot of different technologies. And it's been interesting to see how um, technology evolves to keep up with the evolution in computer science. And Insights is just the latest iteration of that possibility. Our goal at Zydo is to improve the quality of life of a lot of people in the world. And the way that's going to happen is by improving the lives of one person at a time. Uh, we think that insights will allow us to reach a lot of one people really fast. So we're really proud to present insights.